So my friend, how to raise just syntactic sugar into... Are you okay, cats? Sonny so good. Well, yes, 99% of the time, but no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. Let's dig into it, my friend. So my friend, I have this array of five integers, right? And I initialize this array with these random values. Now let's understand from the ground up this duality between pointers and arrays. So I will assume that this array here is just a pointer to the first element. An array is syntactic sugar for pointers. Essentially, it is a pointer. This square bracket notation is just a simpler way to visualize what is going on in memory. So first test that I can do, I can print the size of this pointer. I expect this uh, to be eight bytes, given that this is a 64-bit machine. So let's check this out. Size of array. I launch the program and I get 20. What is going on here, my friend? I was expecting eight. So this is weird. I immediately get a weird behavior from this pointer, right? Let's try something else. I can do with a pointer, pointer arithmetic. Basically, I can say array plus plus with the postfix operator. Basically, I change this pointer to point to the second element of this array. So let's compile this and we get an error mistake. Basically, I cannot increment value of type int square bracket 5. Basically, I cannot increment an array of 5 ints. Wasn't this just a pointer to the first element? Okay, my friend, I guess it's time to read the F manual, right? So we go in the Bible, and basically the source of all knowledge. I will leave a link in the description so you can actually see this paragraph. The point is the 6321. And we get this beautiful baby. So except when it is the operand of the size of operator or the align of operator or the ampersand operator or is a string literal used to initialize an array, an expression that has type array of type is converted to an expression with type pointer to type. Here the keyword is converted. So we have a conversion between types, namely between an array to a pointer. So an array is not a pointer. An array is converted, or better, the case into a pointer. This is the right word if you want to search by yourself. Namely, you can search array the K2 pointer. You can see here what is array to pointer conversion as known as the K, right? Why do I raise the K into pointers, blah, 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 blah. So this phenomenon here is explaining to you that an array is an array and a pointer is a pointer. The problem is that an array very often becomes a pointer to the first element, namely an array that decays into that pointer. Unless the array is the operand of the size of operator, a line of operator that you've probably never seen, <laughs> and the ampersand operator, this is often used, we will see now, or it is a string literal used to initialize an array. Now, we're gonna talk about strings in the next video, a line of operator, we don't care. Now we check the size of operator that we just saw, by the way, and the ampersand operator, which is often used. So now you understand why at this point, when we use size of, and we have as an operand array, we don't get a pointer, but we get the actual array because we are using uh, the operator size of, an array is an operand of this operator, is it Manila? So here the array is an actual array. So the result is 20 because we have five integers, five per four, 20, 20 bytes. So this array is a chunk of 20 bytes. Now let's move on. I'm gonna declare a pointer to integer, very simply like that, and I call it PTR. Then I'm gonna assign the array. I can do like that. What do you think? Is this fine? Let's print the address of this pointer in this fashion, void star. I launch the program and I get the actual address compiled and worked properly. So as you can see, I can assign an array to a pointer, right? There are not error types in this statement. This expression here, R, is array type, but we just read something, right? An expression that has type, array of type, like exactly these, right? This is an expression, is converted to an expression with type pointer to type that points to the initial element of the array object and is not an L value. 
So going back to us, this expression is going to be converted to a pointer to the first element, which is an integer. So a pointer to int. That's perfect. We can do that. So here is an example of array decay into PTR. Let's read this phrase again. Are arrays just syntactic sugar in C? Well, here I have an array. I can assign this array to a pointer. So it basically is <laughs> a pointer, right, array? But now you understand that this is not the case. But you know that behind the scenes we have a decay, we have a conversion, because this array is not an operand of specific operators that we just saw. I hope this makes sense. <laughs> I hope I haven't confused you more here. If I write the actual size of this, I will finally get eight, right, my friend? Because of course, this is a pointer. This is not an array, an array that has decayed into this pointer. Now we go a little in murky land and we understand the ampersand operator with an array because we don't have a conversion in this case. We don't have a decay. What is going to happen then? So here, let's do ampersand array. So array does not decay into a pointer because we have the ampersand. Let's try to compile. And as you can see, we get incompatible pointer types initializing a pointer to an integer with an expression of type int braces star square bracket five. What is that? Well, this, my friend, is a pointer to an array. And this is a pointer to an integer. This is a pointer to the first element of the array. On the contrary, this is a pointer to the whole thing, to the array, to the entire thing. Let's try to do something. Let's use the printf to print the two addresses. One is going to be the address of R. So a pointer to the actual total array because we have the ampersand, so we don't have the actual decay. The other is going to be array itself. So I hope you understand by now that here we have a decay because we have the ampersand operators. One of the special cases, our array doesn't decay into a pointer. In this second case, on the contrary, we don't have operators, so we have a decay. Now the thing is that if we run the code, we get exactly the same pointer, but the type is different, my friend. Now, how to make sense of all this? They are exactly the same address. Now, even though these two pointers have exactly the same value, the type is crucial. And I want to show you why. I can show you that by doing a pointer arithmetic. I'm gonna increase by one both of these pointers, like that. What is going to happen here, in your opinion? I compile and launch. And as you can see, I get two different values. Here I have the final, which is F4, and here I get E4. Now I want to make it more clear, so I'm gonna do an array which is bigger. Let's do 100 elements. Compile again and launch. And as you can see, this time the difference is remarkable. You see, they are both the same address, but the type is different. To understand this point, it's better to visualize. So we have this very simple code. I have an array of five elements with the same numbers as before, and we print the addresses. So that's the same code. This time I have only five elements for the sake of argument. And what do we get? The address of the array plus one is going to be D4, right? While the pointer to the first element plus one is going to be C4. Now, here we can see all the memory with all the bytes. And in the first case, we get D4. What is D4? Well, this array is going to encompass a space in memory that ranges from this address to this address that is going to finish with BD3. As you can see. So here, when I say the address of the array plus one, the pointer arithmetic makes me jump one array. It's not making me jump one integer because this is a pointer to an array of five integers. You see the catch. The type is very important when we perform pointer arithmetic. On the contrary, when I do array plus one, we now understand that this array is just a pointer to the first integers because we have the decay. And where do we go? we go in bc4 which is exactly my friend this it is the first integer of my array so now you understand why these two things are very different here we have the k to a regular pointer and here we have a pointer to an array they have exactly the same value which is this one bc0 because the array starts here but when you perform operations on the actual pointer you can see the difference. To give you a TLDR, a practical thing, is an array just a pointer? Yes, my friend. Think of arrays just as pointers. But when something weird happens, 
keep in mind that an array is an array and a pointer is a pointer. Remember that we have specific cases in which the array does not decay. For my practical experience, if you think about arrays names as pointers, that's fine. That's a very good mental model. <laughs> I hope this was clear. I leave some links in the description so you can further your understanding because it's kind of cryptic, this stuff, right? We agree on that, my friend. <laughs>